Bernie Sanders refers to the Democratic Party as a sinking ship. In a New York Times Magazine article about the future of the Democratic Party, Senator Bernie Sanders was asked what he thinks the party stands for. You're asking a good question. I can't give you a definitive answer. Certainly, there are some people in the Democratic Party who want to maintain the status quo. They would rather go down with the Titanic as long as they have first-class seats. <laughs> Give it up for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> Love it, man. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with the Democrats. The Democrats are sellouts. I am not a sellout. I just broke the hell out. Ask Bernie Sanders, what did the Democratic Party stand for? What does it stand for? That right there should be a question you could answer. Right? Like, what does Tim Black stand for? Truth. Truth. Information. Motivation. Ain't that right, Justin? Truth. Information. Motivation. That's Tim. Okay? Quick. Bam. Boom. You know exactly what I stand for. Bernie Sanders said he doesn't know. That's a very good question. What do they stand for? That's a horrible. That's disgusting. Do you realize how horrible that is? For someone to say they don't even know what the Democratic Party stands for. You can't say working people, right? Not after what they did. We just saw the biggest disparity between what? Between the rich and the poor ever, okay? Ever. Obama was great. Obama was fair. We love Obama. Stop talking bad about Obama, Tim Black. You just saw, we just saw, the biggest disparity between those on the top and those on the bottom ever in the existence of America. Ever. You stop talking bad about Obama. You stop it. No, you stop, you stop lying to yourself. And did the man that other people lie to you so you feel good. I don't have time, man. I don't have time to lie to your ass. I don't have time to lie to you. I just don't. Go sit over there and lie to yourself. Go sit next to a wall and lie to yourself. So anyway, here's the thing. If you have a party where the man who almost won your nomination and would have won it, no, let's just say it. The man who won your nomination, the person who won your nomination, don't even know what you stand for. You gonna eat your cornbread. Mm. I got a feeling <laughs> that that party is busy eating people's cornbread. That's right, eating people's cornbread. And it's got to be hard for Bernie to do because one minute, Bernie is like, we got to vote Democrat. We got to vote Democrat. Next minute, he's like, there's some sellout sons of business. There's some business. So it's got to be really hard for him because he want to look in the mirror just like you look in the mirror. And if he look at that mirror, he knows he's lying when he when he tries to when he when he tries to get you to go Democrat, he knows there's a lot wrong with him. But here's the thing: nobody take no cornbread from me. Maybe Bernie Sanders will wake up soon and realize if he wants to give them his cornbread, that's one thing. But he can't just keep giving them our cornbread. Stop! Stop using your collateral. Stop using your currency that has been given to you by the people, right, as a way to extract votes, support anything from us to the DNC because they have not earned it, Bernie. They have not earned it, Bernie. Bernie. Maybe I ought to eat your cornbread. And see, maybe, I don't know, man. People have conspiracy theories in their head. Maybe Bernie has, you know, maybe somebody's watching them. Who was that? Who was that? Jay? Who was that? Jay, did you hear the... Jay, did you hear the noise? You know, maybe at night he's looking out his window. Jay, this is outside, Jay. You know, we we had these. You know, we want to give Bernie all types of benefit of the, of the doubt, like his life is in danger. Jay, this son's a business. Go get the gun. This is Vermont. Go get the gun. I'll shoot him, Jay. I'll shoot him. Because <laughs> there's DNC people outside, establishment cronies, with no 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 eyeballs, just. Eye sockets, ah, Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. Trying to get him, you know? 
But the reality is that Bernie tapped into something that was very special. <clears throat> and it's something that, that I, I don't think is something that you won't see probably for a very long time. For a very long time. And that's a magical thing to tap into the energy of people, to to connect with people in a way that feels 100% authentic, it seems real, it seems sincere. And then to take that thing that's special, man, like, like uh, there are people who gave up homes, jobs, relationships, moved across the country even, because they saw a vision with Bernie Sanders that they thought this is it. This has got to be it. And it's, it's horrific to imagine that somebody would, uh, would take that and let, let it be contaminated with, with falsehoods for whatever reason. And I know it's easy for me to say it, right? Because I'm not, I don't have my career 40 years in the balance, right? Because, you know, they could shut him out. They could hurt him in the Senate. They could uh, take his power away, take him off committees. They could freeze him out in the media. And uh, worse probably could happen too. I'll leave the worst open-ended. But there's got to be some things, right, that you just won't do. You won't do them. You have to have a line in the sand about your integrity at some point. Because if you give up the line in the sand, Bernie Sanders, if you if you continue to do this, it's gonna be consequences and repercussions. And those repercussions won't just be for you. They'll be for people's hopes and dreams going forward. And maybe the next person who's full of promise, who has ideals who's willing to fight. Maybe people won't listen to him because they'll be thinking about that guy, Bernie Sanders, who they put their faith in. They believed in this guy. Like, they put their faith in his actions, not his words. They believed in him because he looked like the genuine article. And because of that guy who ended up carrying all that water for Hillary and now carrying water for the DNC, the new guy, the new woman, could be a new woman, Now they won't give this person a chance. So for that, Bernie, you do not get to ruin that. No matter what they call it, no matter what they promise you, no matter what they threaten you with, you, Bernie, do not get to ruin that. So it's time, unless you can play the game right, unless you can play right, maybe it's time for you to think about stepping away. Well, either you go down with the ship. 